Jewish heretics are Jewish individuals whose works have, in part or in whole, been condemned as heretical by significant persons or groups in the larger Jewish community based on the classical teachings of Judaism and derived from Halakha, Talmudist definition of heresy. The Greek term for heresy, alpha rho epsilon sigma iota sigma, originally denoted division, sect, religious, or philosophical party, is applied by Josephus to the three Jewish sects, Sadducees, Pharisees, and Essenes. In the sense of a schism to be deprecated the word occurs in I Corinthians chapter 11 verse 19, Galatians chapter 5 verse 20 and particularly in 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 1, hence alpha rho epsilon tau iota kappa sigma in the sense of factious, the specific rabbinical term for heresies or religious divisions due to an unlawful spirit is minim. The law, ye shall not cut yourselves, is interpreted by the rabbis, ye shall not form divisions, but shall form one bond. Besides the term min for heretic, the Talmud uses the words his own im, arpikoros, and kofar bar Torah, or kofar bar ikar, also porsh midak zibur. Of all these it is said that they are consigned to Gehinim for all eternity. The Mishnah says the following have no share in the world to come. He who denies that the Torah is divinely revealed, lit comes from heaven, and the Arpico Rose, R. Akiba says, also he who reads heretical books. This is explained in the Talmud to mean Sifra Ejikum, but this is an alteration by the censor of Sifra Harmonim, the biblical version, that ye seek not after your own heart is explained as, ye shall not turn to heretic views, minute, which lead your heart away from God. In summarizing the Talmudist statements concerning heretics in San 90-103, Maimonides says, the following have no share in the world to come, but to cut off, and perish, and receive their punishment for all time for their great sin. The minim, the arpico resum, they that deny the belief in the Torah, they that deny the belief in resurrection of the dead and in the coming of the Redeemer, the apostates, they that lead many to sin, they that turn away from the ways of the Jewish community. 5 are called minim. He who says there is no God and the world has no leader, he who says the world has more than one leader, he who ascribes to the Lord of the universe a body and a figure, he who says that God was not alone and creator of all things at the world's beginning, he who worships some star or constellation as an intermediating power between himself and the Lord of the world. The following three classes are called Arpico Resum. He who says there was no prophecy nor was there any wisdom that came from God and which was attained by the heart of man, he who denies the prophetic power of Moses our master, he who says that God has no knowledge concerning the doings of men. The following three are called Kofar and Bar Torah. He who says the Torah is not from God. He is a kofar even if he says a single verse or letter thereof was said by Moses of his own accord. He who denies the traditional interpretation of the Torah and opposes those authorities who declare it to be tradition, as did Zadok and Boethus, and he who says, as do the Nazarenes and the Mohammedans, that the Lord has given a new dispensation instead of the old and that he has abolished the law, though it was originally divine. However, Abraham ben David, in his critical notes, objects to Maimonides characterizing as heretics all those who attribute corporeality to God, and he insinuates that the Kabbalists are not heretics. In the same sense all biblical critics who, like Ibn Ezra in his notes on Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 2, doubt or deny the mosaic origin of every portion of the Pentateuch, would protest against the Maimonidean conception of heresy. Mishni Torah, Minim Hilchot Teshuvah Chapter 3 Halacha 7 5 People who can be classified as heretics. One who denies the existence of God or the ruler of the world. One who says there are two or more rulers of the world. One who accepts there is one master of the world but maintains he has a body or a form. One who denies that he is the sole first being and creator of all existence. 
one who serves entities that serve as intermediary between him and the eternal lord such as stars, constellations or any other entity. According to Hilcho Tashuva, three to six minim do not have a portion in the world to come. Their souls are cut off and they are judged for their sins. The Burkat Haminim is a malediction on heretics. The belief that the curse was directed at Christians was sometimes cause for persecution of Jews. Modern scholarship has generally evaluated that the Burkat Haminim probably did originally include Jewish Christians before Christianity became markedly a Gentile religion. Epicor Simon Hilcho Teshuva Chapter 3 Halachar 6 Three peoples who can be classified as Epikoros One who denies the existence of prophecy and communication from God to the hearts of men. One who disputes the prophecy of Moses. One who denies the Creator is aware of other deeds. According to Hilcho Teshuva 3 to 6 Epicor Sim do not have a portion in the world to come. Their souls are cut off and they are judged for their sins. One who denies Torah Hilcho Teshuva Chapter 3 Halachar 8 Three people who can be classified as one who denies Torah. One who denies that even one verse or one word of Torah is from God, including those who say, Moses made these statements independently. One who denies Torah's interpretation, the oral law or disputes the authority of its spokesman as did Zadok and Bytis. One who says that although the Torah came from God, the Creator has replaced one mitzvah with another one and nullified the original Torah, like the Muslims and the Christians. According to Hilcho Teshuva 3-6, those who deny Torah do not have a portion in the world to come. Their souls are cut off and they are judged for their sins. On legal status the status of heretics in Jewish law is not clearly defined. While there are certain regulations scattered throughout the Talmud concerning the minim, the nearest approach to the English term heretic, these are mostly of a Haggadic nature, the codes taking little cognizance of them. The governing bodies of the synagogue frequently exercised, from motives of self-defense, the power of excommunication against heretics. The heretic was theoretically excluded from a portion in the world to come, he was consigned to Gehenna, to eternal punishment. But the Jewish courts of justice never attended to cases of heresy, they were left to the judgment of the community. There are, however, in the rabbinic codes, laws and regulations concerning the relation of the Jew to the heretic. The sentiment against the heretic was much stronger than that against the pagan. While the pagan brought his offerings to the temple in Jerusalem and the priests accepted him, the sacrifices of the heretic were not accepted. The relatives of the heretic did not observe the laws of mourning after his death, but donned festive garments, and ate and drank and rejoiced. Scrolls of the law, tefillin, and mezuzot written by a heretic were burned, and an animal slaughtered by a heretic was forbidden food. Books written by heretics did not render the hands impure, they might not be saved from fire on the Sabbath. A heretic's testimony was not admitted in evidence in Jewish courts, and if an Israelite found an object belonging to a heretic, he was forbidden to return it to him. Classes of heretics the Mamala Hachis, as opposed to the Mamala Tevan, was placed by some of the rabbis in the same category as the Minim. Even if he habitually transgressed one law only, he was not allowed to perform any religious function, nor could he testify in a Jewish court. One who violated the Sabbath publicly or worshipped idols could not participate in the Eruv Chaziroth, nor could he write a bill of divorce. One who would not permit himself to be circumcised could not perform the ceremony on another, while the court could not compel the mama to divorce his wife, even though she demanded it. It compelled him to support her and her children and to pay her an allowance until he agreed to a divorce. At his death those who are present need not tear their garments. The mama who repented and desired readmittance into the community was obliged to take a ritual bath, the same as the proselyte. If he claimed to be a good Jew, although he was alleged to have worshipped idols in another town, he was believed when no benefit could have accrued to him from such a course. Jews accused of heresy 
The present section lists individuals who have been declared heretical, independent of the particular criteria applied in the assessment. The list below is intended to be inclusive, and thus contains both individuals who have been fully excommunicated, as well as those whose works alone have been condemned as heretical. Quraysh, considered a heretic by the Talmudist sages, Jesus, Elisha ben Obuya, heretical Talmudist sage, Anan ben David, his works reject the oral Torah, Maimonides, his works condemned and burned by Solomon of Montpellier and Yonah Gerundi, Gersonides, his works condemned by Shem Tov Ibn Shem Tov, Abraham Abulafia, his works condemned by Rabbi Shlomo ben Adoret, Shabbat Zvi, the famous false messiah who converted to Islam, Jacob Frank, a second wave failed messiah who later converted to Christianity, Baruch Spinoza, excommunicated in the Netherlands for his pantheistic views, Moshe Haim Lozato, excommunicated in Italy for teachings regarding the Messianic era, Jonathan Ibeschutz, charged with the Sabbatian heresy by Jacob Emden, Schneer Zalman of Liedi, charged with heresy by the Vilna Gaon, Shasidism, for believing in the powers of the Zadik and the immortality of the Rebbe, David Zvi Hoffman, his work Ma Samuel judged to contain heresies by Samson Raphael Hirsch, Mordecai Kaplan, excommunicated by Union of Orthodox Rabbis following the publication of his Sabbath prayer book, Louis Jacobs, prevented from becoming British Chief Rabbi and removed from his pulpit due to his published views,